Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2011. So we are here with this problem 10 of your paper. This problem is a problem from abstract algebra. So let us have a look. For n belongs to natural number, let nz is defined like this. Okay then the number of units of z by 11z and z by 12z these are actually the factor groups respectively or you can say question group also then what you have to do you have to find out number of units do you understand the meaning of unit okay so if not i will tell you so firstly I want to tell you this thing that z by nz is actually isomorphic to zn okay and what's the operation it's addition modulo n. okay so what you have to do you have to find out uh, units inside z by 11z so it simply means that you need to find out you need to find out find out elements whose multiplicative inverse exist so this is what you need to find out so units actually means all those elements whose multiplicative inverse exist right so now you know from the note number one what do you know that z by 11 z is actually isomorphic to z 11 and z by 12 z is actually isomorphic to z uh, 12 so if we will calculate if we will calculate units inside these two then we will get units inside them okay so what's the formula for that so number of okay number of units in zn is given by Euler five function of n right so I hope you understand this Euler 5 function. If not, you can look at any book. You will get that what Euler 5 function is. So phi of 11 you have to calculate since it's a prime. So you will get 10. Now phi of 12 can be written as phi of 2, 2 dot 3, right? So this can be written as 2 square minus 2 and two here so what you will get you will get uh, four minus two that's four right so how many units are inside z uh, this these are the these are the these are the units inside z 11 and these are the units inside z 12 right so what will be your answer your answer will be 10 comma 4 that means C will be our answer, right? So this is how we can solve this question. A very easy question. So C is the correct one, D incorrect, B incorrect, and A incorrect, right? So thank you.